by Sunday to one and all. Uh, I'll be presenting a paper uh, based on the MSc Culture and Arts uh, Creative Hub. So let me just share some slides so that everybody can see. So I am Randy Noblesa from the Institute of Arts and Social Sciences of the Marinduque State College uh, of Education, Arts and Social Sciences. So this is uh, MSCCA Island and Archipelagic Studies transition from study center to creative hub with selected cultural agencies such as uh, Cultural Center of the Philippines, Commission Sa Wikam Pilipino, and National Commission for Culture and the Arts. So I'm going to present uh, with this flow. So first uh, half of the presentation would deal with the background on MSCCA, Island and Archipelagic uh, Study Center. So this is in collaboration with the respective uh, cultural agencies such as CCP, KWF, and NCCA. So the later half of the presentation will deal with the possible models or templates for becoming a creative hub. So in UP Baguio, there's uh, Museo Cordillera and UP uh, Visayas and Iloilo, their center for West Visayan studies. And in Mindanao, in uh, Davao, in the Philippine uh, Women's College, there is Tambayayong Hub Network. And uh, after this, we are going to distill some insights for the 70th foundation of our institution of Marinduque State College by June 21, uh, 2022. So first off is the background on the MSCCA Island and Archipelagic uh, Studies. So in December uh, 2021, I was able to get the appointment of the MSC Culture and Arts uh, Head and uh, with this, uh, we decided to have uh, some uh, evaluation and planning of the trust and the agenda. But primarily, uh, what we ended up doing is to come up with a community-based museum and resource center that would uh, serve the community and generate resources for the community. So this is in uh, coordination with the existing uh, MSC Centro ng Wika at Cultura and likewise with the civil society organization, uh, the Hearts Council of Marinduque for Culture and Arts. So this was during the uh, National Arts Month uh, last uh, February uh, 2021. So to continue the specific objectives of the MSCCA Island and the Cartilagic uh, Study Center is one, to conduct cultural mapping in selected towns to produce local culture profiles in Marinduque. So out of the six towns in the province, we were able to conduct at least four cultural mapping projects in uh, Mugpog, Buena Vista, uh, Santa Cruz and Gasan. And so far, we are done with uh, a couple of uh, local cultural profile in the town of Santa Cruz and also in Gasan. Uh, next would be to carry out cultural inventory through baseline data gathering of selected towns of the province. So since uh, I mentioned that uh, we are already uh, in the cusp of completing uh, the cultural mapping project, we are also beginning to plan the cultural inventory. So I think the provincial uh, government of Marinduque has 
submitted already in the Philippine Registry of Cultural Properties uh, last December 15, uh, 2021. Uh, the third objective is to produce learning materials for cultural education by GDCE teachers, scholars, and DKIT students. So MSC is offering uh, the graduate diploma and cultural education in uh, with the endowment from the National uh, Commission for Culture and the Arts and the Philippine Cultural Education Program. And I think uh, we're about to uh, complete the first uh, batch of Bachelor in Culture Arts Education by this year. So second to the last uh, objective is to offer online and short courses on heritage studies based on Museo Cordillera, West Visayas, Study Center, and Tambayayong Hub Network. So at the moment, uh, we've already launched the uh, institutional funding for this uh, research. We've already coordinated with the respective campuses who are going to take part, not only the MSC Buak, or main campus, but also in the Gasan or School of Fisheries in Turios, the School of Agriculture, and most recently MSC uh, Santa Cruz with their course offering. And the last objective is to partner with local counterparts and private sector with creative economies, industry, and hub projects. So we are beginning to uh, introduce some innovation with the despite and beyond the pandemic. So we've already uh, touched base with the local uh, council for culture and arts in the province of Marinduque and also in the region of Mimaropa. So moving on, so with the respective uh, cultural agencies such as uh, CCP. So Marinduque State College has already uh, uh, part of the network of Taisa Sasining. So Marinduque is part of the CCP Regional Arts uh, Center. So during the 50th uh, anniversary of CCP in 2019, we became part of the KSS Regional Arts Center. And this year, so we're about to renew the Memorandum of Understanding with CCP to continue the uh, partnership with Kaisa Sassini. Then uh, the next cultural agency that the MSC is partnering with is the Commission Sawikan Filipino. So actually this uh, arrangement already began in 2016 with the previous uh, college uh, president and this was formalized with the uh, establishment of uh, Centro ng Wika at Cultura or Center for Language and uh, Culture. And uh, the following uh, timeline uh, ever since was continued with uh, uh, yours truly as the MSC SWK uh, director. And uh, finally, the partnership with the NCCA. So apart from offering GTCE or graduate diploma in cultural education, uh, we also obtain some grants to conduct some translation project under the National Committee on uh, Language and Translation. So with that uh, endowment, we're able to produce some output with uh, Saling Awit and Saling Tula or uh, translation of some songs and poetry, contemporary songs and uh, some traditional poetry. Uh, likewise, uh, we are also um, implementing other NCCA uh, projects such as cultural mapping. As mentioned a bit earlier, MSC is in the forefront of cultural mapping and the 
uh, cultural inventory, not only the province of Marinduque, but also in the region of Bimaropa. So we are about to complete a local cultural uh, profile in Mansale Oriental Mindoro, and we're also involved with uh, Sofronio Española in Palawan, and I think uh, uh, the cultural mapping in San Fernando Romblon is already completed. So the next part of the presentation, given the, the previous part regarding study center, so we're about to transition to uh, the creative hub. So Museo Cordillera of the UP Baguio is an ethnographic museum dedicated to the preservation and enrichment of indigenous cultures of Cordillera administrative region and its neighboring areas in Northern Luzon. So I'm supposed to uh, include the Cordillera Study Center uh, during my dissertation at uh, De La Salle University. But I focus only on the uh, Center for Kapampangan Studies instead. So this is a continuation of my uh, postgraduate uh, degree with the interest on a particular uh, model for a creative city for folk arts and uh, traditional arts. So such is the UNESCO designation to uh, Baguio City. So this is one model of a creative hub. So not only with the study center, but more precisely with the Museo Cordillera. So Museo Cordillera has uh, extensive uh, collection and also they have education component. So I was uh, able to receive at least uh, uh, level three of museum uh, training starting with the basic and a more advanced and the co uh, curation of certain uh, collections. Um, on our end, in Marinduque and also in Mimaropa. So the next creative hub is the Center for West uh, Visayan Studies. So a while ago, I think in March uh, 2021, so we were able to share some insights during the uh, webinar series of Kabansa or the Kapisana ng mga bahay Saliksikan sa Pilipinas. So we're able to share the stage, the virtual form floor with uh, Dr. Randy Madrid uh, of the UP uh, Visayas in Iloilo, Center for West Visayan uh, Studies. So again, this is also the continuation of my uh, dissertation. I was supposed to include the CWVS along with the, the uh, Cebuano Study Center as the pioneering uh, study center of its kind. But uh, more than uh, uh, study center, they also have a museum. So not only a museum, nowadays they also have a resource hub for disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation. This is something new. So when I visited the uh, Iloilo some time ago, so there was only the intangible cultural uh, heritage gallery and the Habul gallery or their textile uh, museum. So DRR and CCA uh, resource hub is something uh, in addition to what they are already doing. So finally, the more uh, complex uh, creative hub. So I, uh, this was only recent when I was attending a British Council Drivers for Change uh, uh, webinar. So I came across with Tambaya yung uh, hub network. So I think nowadays uh, they already transform into a, a consortium. So THN or Tambaya yung Hub network is no longer a network, uh, just a network, but 
uh, consortium. So when I was doing field work with my uh, postgraduate uh, degree, I focus on the Mindanao Studies uh, Consortium Foundation. And I came across with the Mindanao Knowledge uh, uh, Hub being administered by the Mindanao Development uh, Authority. So it was only recent that I was able to be aware of the Tambayayong Hub network with the British Council uh, Generous uh, Endowment. So this uh, network is uh, under the auspices of the Philippine Women's College, also happens to be in Davao. And uh, along with this, uh, they have the Kabilin uh, Mindanao Folk Arts Museum and Study Center. And they have a very uh, comprehensive uh, website with their virtual uh, festival. So what I know of, Dabao uh, City is so that they host the annual Dabawenyo Festival. So since the pandemic with the last two years, so they were able to migrate to the virtual uh, platform. So moreover, regarding the consortium, so there are at least six uh, state universities or colleges like the Dabao Oriental uh, University, the Compostela uh, College, um, the College of Agriculture, Sciences, and Technology in Kapalong in Dabao. Of course, uh, PWC in Dabao as well. And uh, also part of the consortium is the Dabao del Sur uh, State College. And finally, so they have the Southern Philippines Agribusiness and Marine and Aquatic uh, School of Technology. So very interesting because uh, this network or that uh, became a consortium, they have their own featured commodity and respected creative hub. So there's uh, not uh, one creative hub, but... Uh, several so in this case at least six creative hubs so that's the reason why they came up with the consortium so just to distill some uh, insights from the study centers and the uh, creative uh, hubs so marinduque state college has mentioned uh, uh, time and again so we are celebrating our 70th foundation so from uh, School of Arts and Trade, so we became an uh, Institute of Science and Technology. So until recently, we became Marinduque State College. And much more recent, in 2019, so there's already the legislative support of the Speaker of the House and their counterpart in the Senate. So there's already a university uh, law converting the Marinduque State College into a university. But we need to still comply some requirements and hopefully uh, by the end of the not the end of the elections, when it is concluded, we'll be able to enjoy the, the title as well. So for the, the part of transition, so from Marinduque State College to Marinduque State University. So we are making use of future studies and forecasting. So in 2020, last part of 2020, when I was given the helm of MSA Culture and Arts, so it's already embedded with the college's goal to implement innovative, inclusive, and sustainable lifelong learning strategies under the new normal state of affairs. So I was preceded by Ma'am Lantita, Ruby and Lantita. And when we have, a, when we had the reorganization, I also turned over to uh, Ma'am Ruby and Lantita. So MSC Kalinangan was no longer. So we transitioned back to MSC uh, Culture and Arts Unit. But 
MSC uh, Culture and Arts Creative have uh, continues to uh, transform into a creative hub. So regarding uh, transformations, so MSC is truly blessed with the support, institutional support from the respective uh, cultural agencies such as KWF, uh, NCCA, and CCP. So with the generous support of the MSC Examural Study Center, so apart from MSC Buac, MSC Gasan, MSC Torrijos, and MSC Santa Cruz, there are also uh, MSC Examural Study Center in the town of Mugpug that could host our uh, activities as a study center and probably in the more immediate future uh, with the creative hub as well. So in, the, in response to the scenario that NCCA, KWF, and CCP has been uh, established a center for further development of the national language and culture and is offering a graduate diploma. So we are not only transitioning to a university, we're also making some strides in transforming the study center into a creative hub. And finally, so this is going to be my last uh, slide regarding transdisciplinarity. So I go back, I go back to this uh, framework. So island and archipelagic uh, studies. And incidentally, this is the uh, topic of our upcoming conference, the 44th uh, UGAT conference that Marinduque State College is going to host by October. So Kapuluan, Anthropology in the Archipelago. So reflecting on this uh, theme, so let me just end with the, the thought that MSCCA Creative Hub's core objective is to embed the unique Marinduque island and archipelagic culture by incorporating it across all curricula and the fourfold functions such as instruction, research, extension, and production of the college. So since uh, Marinduque is not isolated, it's the geographic center of the Philippines and the uh, uh, heart-shaped island is like any other island. So we are living in uh, archipelago. Philippines is an archipelagic uh, country and therefore MSCCA Creative Hub, which began as a study center, hopefully would not only embed uh, the unique uh, features of Marinduque as an island, but also, more importantly, see to it that the commonalities would be highlighted more than the differences. And with this commonality with other islands, so we belong to the archipelagic uh, country. So it would be incorporated in uh, all forms or all... Uh, aspects of the curriculum and considering our status as state uh, university or college so this is the mandate to uh, to include this in the functions so we include it in, a, in our instruction we uh, incorporate this in our research and extension and hopefully with the creative bub we'd be able to generate resources that would be viable to our college and to our community. So on that note, I end my presentation and I would like to thank the organizers of this conference to, for accepting this uh, for presentation. So thank you and keep safe.